Ford has pushed Windows 95 very hard. Ford is trying Windows 95 on the plant floor, in the engineering staff, in their network support, global network support, and every user at Ford has the assignment to try to break Windows 95. For the company of this size, there are many agendas and many people to please. Reduce maintenance and support, increased productivity for the user, seamless networking, and a backbone structure for Ford's global IS strategy. At Ford Research Laboratory, the, the users want to use uh, several programs throughout the day, uh, some of them that require enormous amounts of conventional memory, others uh, have special configurations, and Windows 95 allows Ford to do that a lot easier. People who work in the Ford Scientific Research Labs are very demanding on their computer systems. They use a lot of different software for very specific applications. They're throwing the toughest applications at it, the toughest in-house applications, the toughest mix of applications, and seeing if they can bring it to its needs. And they haven't been able to. A company like Ford has thousands and thousands of computer systems. It has networks that go back to the old twisted pair. Ford needs to be able to integrate their systems smoothly without stopping production, without stopping operations at any place at any time. Windows 95's integrated networking is unique. Windows 95 just is able to take everything our toughest users are able to throw at them. It's able to handle resources better. You are able to print very large documents while working in another application. It handles network traffic. You are able to paste large objects in between World Wide Web sites and PowerPoint. The connectivity and reconnectivity is there. It increased productivity and the usefulness of Windows tremendously. Does it park your car for you? It doesn't park your car for you. The user is able to see their previous desktop with the new Windows 95 interface. And it's very comfortable for them. Tech support's been uh, affected by Windows 95 by less calls from the Windows 95 users uh, compared to the Windows 3.1 users. Software engineers at Ford are able to use the same applications they were under Windows 3.1, and they work faster than they did under Windows 3.1. You can get more done in the same amount of time. Windows 95 has the ability to communicate well with all of the network technologies that Ford has employed throughout the corporation. Is that a surprise? Is that a surprise? Kind of, no. I mean, they don't have to shut down an application to go work on another application. They're able to leave them all up and running and do the job they need to do without picking their tools up and putting them away because Windows 95 allows them to keep them all up, right available off the taskbar. Ford already has 2,000 desktops loaded, and by the end of this year, 5,000. By the end of next year, 30,000 desktops will be loaded, and ultimately, Ford will have over 80,000 desktops loaded with Windows 95. Anything that Ford is going to distribute or implement on a wide basis, they really want to make sure that it works 100% before a customer uses it. They use the same philosophy with Windows 95. They really tested it to the extent that it could be tested, and it did wonderfully. Ford Research Labs is happy. We have all sorts of computers at Dow, one of each kind, mid-range, mainframe, personal computers, lots of them. Well, the problem is, over time, operating systems change, desktops change, and every time they change, you have to go back and change the systems that make them talk to each other. Over a year ago, we started analyzing uh, what standards we wanted for client server, and at that point, uh, Windows 95 became uh, available for beta testing. Well, users are very excited about it. They feel the ease of use, the uh, compatibility that now can spread across businesses and functions within the company, just provide us with a, a real platform to deploy their new applications on. Windows 95 works the way I work because um, I'm a very energetic, spontaneous individual. I have many tasks going at one time. Users 
want to do it themselves. They want to create their own databases, search it, find it, locate it, no matter where it's scattered across the globe. With Windows 95, connectivity allows me to disseminate information back to our managers to make critical decisions. Microsoft, uh, with the Migration Kit, offers us all the resources, information we need to deploy Windows 95 and Dow. Our plan is to replace 26,000 workstations on a global basis with Windows 95. We're switching out the desktop, switching out the operating system, switching out the network, the network protocols. About the only thing we're not switching out is our users. We're taking a huge risk whenever we, we migrate our entire center to a new platform. We're 24 by 7, so our customers are always needing our support. Microsoft's systems management server allowed us to push Windows 95 out. We didn't have the time or the manpower to go out and visit every desktop in this building. I did not receive any training with Windows 95. You really don't need it. It's very simple, straightforward. You click on this button, it pulls you over here. You click on this button, it pulls you over there. The time that it took me to figure out Windows 95 was shorter than the time it took me to learn how to use my microwave at home. The speed of Windows 95 impressed me greatly. When we first put it on, everything just happened so much faster. We've got a pretty large network. We're trying to keep about 550 users working at all times on about 120 applications. With Windows 95, I can open up a lot more applications than I could before. I was getting about four or five before, and now my applications have increased to uh, as many as 16. It zips through the screens. Zip, zip, zip. Uh, they love it. Uh, we've threatened to take it away from a few of them just for fun. First I would cry and then I would start swinging. There's no way they're going to take Windows 95 away from me. I'm sticking with it. As far as my group is concerned, I was given a Cadillac. They were like, how did you raid? How did you get this system? Yes, they hate me, and I love it. My name's Michael Johnson, and I'm a visual artist. I'm a painter, drawer, photographer, a little bit of everything. I teach at a college. I'm showing other people how to make art. Traditionally, when we think of an artist in a big studio, skylit, wonderful light coming in. My studio is about four feet by five feet, sits on a table. It's a 20 inch monitor, a couple hard drives. That's as much space as I need. I use the computer in the aid of expressing myself. Okay, anybody have any questions today on the things I've reviewed? Okay, Marilyn. How would you start Photoshop? Okay, I'm gonna go to start. I'm just gonna click on that and that will start Photoshop. That's wow. pretty quick, wow. pretty quick. Teaching is no different than making art. Art shows people insights to the artist. Teaching is another experience of doing the same thing. The kinds of things that are going to be new are going to be things like longer file names. We're not limited in Windows 95. For us artists, eight characters never cut it. We can be as creative as we want. We've got 250 characters, and there we go. You can have a digital image that exists simply on the screen. Take that image, fire it off to a diskette, and then go someplace and have it printed. I can have it put on canvas, watercolor, rice paper, etc., and it gives me something I can walk away with and hold in my hands. It's tactile. Here's your print. Right. Just off the printer. Okay, let's take it down. It is fun. It's definitely a fun thing to use. My name is Sarah. Um, I'm five years old. My name's Chris and I'm 13 years old. <laughs> the computer's really cool because I like to play games or I do my homework on it and that really helps me out a lot. I had a project on ancient Egypt. Instead of going to the library, I went up to the Microsoft network to find all my research. There's pictures, there's sounds, and there's text, a lot of things. I'd go into the reference section and I'd double click on Encarta, the encyclopedia, and I'd look up stuff there. I like the World Wide Web too. I get to there by the Microsoft Network, and I like to explore around in the sports section, or you can download different games from up there. It's pretty neat. Hey, right back, back over this way. Right way. Upstairs. Upstairs. All my friends have computers at home. I don't know anybody that doesn't, actually. Turn around, the guy's gonna get you. It's really easy to play CD-ROMs because you put the CD-ROM in the drive, and it starts up. 
Even someone like Sarah can do that. My friend Jane is ready to fish. I taped the CD, put it in, put it on the pewter, and the big circle comes, and then the bird comes. It's real easy. Thanks for getting the flowers, Sam. Sure thing, Freddy.